What's up everybody? This is Pops from X-Men and Pops. Uh, this is a short clip of a game that we uh, were playing Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty, uh, Village. Uh, opened it up. I hadn't played in about two months. And so uh, the beginning was a little choppy because I couldn't remember the controls. Couldn't remember how to reload. Couldn't pretty much remember how to do anything. That's why I started off with that Semtex instead of the radar. Now in this video you're going to notice that I escaped a couple of times. And you know I probably should have been dead. Like right here. Disoriented. Now in this particular round I had Assassin Pro and then uh, Blind Eye and I can't rem remember the last one I had. That's normally the class that I like to play with. And now here's the good part. Now as you'll see when I throw down my uh, care package somebody actually spawned right in front of me as I threw it. So it came back and I'm actually lucky that Xavier caught that because I didn't catch it. And so basically I could have been crushed by that care package. So normally you get a cheap, you know, care package. But this one was uh, one of my favorites. Now mind you, I still had not played this in about two months. So I was a little bit off with my aiming on here. As you can see, I got a Predator missile. And I'll be using that shortly. But this is a great map to obtain this care package. Well, this map is actually pretty good for uh, if anybody likes playing with an objective. It's pretty good for domination and um, other things that like capture the flag. But I wouldn't mm -hmm. recommend it for like free for all. Now, too cool for TV would appreciate that kind of a. Uh, you know care package run even though it wasn't very long I was able to scope somebody out uh, I still haven't died yet again I'm a little shaky with stuff so I want to make sure everything was reloaded which it was <clears throat> and uh, pretty much trying to read the map as, I, as best I can now, I wouldn't say it was the best run but as you can see I haven't died yet and so that's not too shabby for you know not having played in a while and uh, I popped this corner here and as I'm doing so this guy was waiting so luckily I was able to go ahead and get my helicopter but shotgunner did get a hold of me right afterwards so that reset everything and right there you could just tell you know <clears throat> the fact that I haven't played in a while because I I really meant to throw my <clears throat> portable radar. And this guy wasn't expecting me and neither was he. So, you know, I was popping corners. I got pretty lucky, but this damn shotgunner got me again. And, you know, you, you want to complain and say, you know, shotguns are for close quarters. And you want to cry and complain about snipers should only use them in certain occasions. I'll be honest with you, if you die, you die. It is what it is. You know, shouldn't have ran up on a guy with a shotgun anyway. I'm going to die here again because I suck ass. And maybe I shouldn't be saying that word. Uh, but that was just, uh, that was a Freudian slip. For those of you that don't know what that means, you got to go back to school. Anyway, I do apologize for this video. Uh, Call of Duty Elite is not rendering the videos correctly, so... Uh, we will be uh, uploading this to EasyVid um, soon, so it will be higher, it will be better instead of using a cheap camera, but... Now, I'm not quite sure what happened with this video because it is split up into two five-minute clips. We will have to pause this video and, you know, somehow put them back together, but as you can see, I already lost track of how many times I've died. We will be back, so stay tuned for part What's two. What's up, everybody? So this is the second part of that 
first video that we started and so we did have to do some unfortunate cut and paste here so I wanted to start from the very beginning to show that it is going to actually take place right from where we left off as you can see the score is exactly the same same location and uh, they, I should have died here I don't know why I didn't but using this with a different clip now I ran in here and I didn't expect to see what happened but if I remember correctly there's gonna be a grip of fools here oh no it's that stupid shotgunner again yeah those shotgunners you know they you know, there's no way of avoiding that pretty much if you're close quarters you're gonna lose that battle every time now, one of the things that I like about blind eye is you could do this to their uh, helicopters all day long and uh, so as you can see here I was unable to take care of this helicopter but nine out of ten times if we are playing I am gonna be the one that's gonna take down the helicopters or anything that's overwatch or whatnot now my son wants to go ahead and thank uh, David De La Torre for helping him understand video games and the history of video games a little bit better and also uh, Cesar Rodriguez because now, he also uh, takes the time to talk to my boy. You know, and X-Man is uh, somebody that really enjoys the history of, of gaming, video games in general. You know, he, he educates me on a lot of the new school. And I educate him the same way on the old school. You know, I have a kid that pretty much does appreciate games like Wolfenstein and Doom. And, uh, and he understands, you know, without those games having done, been made first really pretty much you know wouldn't have this now we were far from two button controls one button control joysticks but big graphics, big graphics. you know there, there's a lot to be said with what you can do with 8-bit graphics anyway as you can see we barely won this uh, 7500 or 7200 uh, I was really pushing for the game winning kill but I didn't get it and uh, taste of their own medicine they went out with the shotgun Oh, As you can see, the top of the leaderboard, X-Men and Pops, 20 kills, 10 deaths. Not the prettiest, but not the worst. This is Pops saying so long. Xavier, you got anything to say, X-Men? Yeah, speaking of 32-bit graphics, um, we will be doing a um, NES um, walkthrough shortly. Now, so if be you're, sure to check that out. And if you're wondering why... Our call sign is showing no prestige. We've had this game for some time. And we never prestiged. And to be honest with you, we're not going to prestige. It's not worth a little token. Anyway, X-Men and Pops out. And uh, soon to come, we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the PS3, Xbox 360. We're going to try and be as unbiased as possible. And uh, also some old-school gaming. NES games to come soon. Yes. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out!! Uh, give us uh, some feedback, some comments on what you'd like to see. We got pretty much every game system that you can think of going back to the 80s. And if we don't have it, we can get it. It's just a matter of time. Look out also for our Minecraft videos and big ups to Ramdog. Yeah. Peace. Thanks.